I'm spending my whole quarantine period playing this game. They don't even have any CRTs in there. The game is awesome. When I can find the right plug, we're going to be giving this a try. And fucking tastic. I really like the idea of this episode. I think we should do it again in the future. And I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot more of these gimmicky ass TVs in the future as well. And this whole thing reminded me of something. I had this crazy dream last night and I want to share it with you all. So I don't really remember how long it was, but I remember three parts from it. The first part I remember is that our dryer stopped working in the house, so we had to get our landlord to come replace it, which was quite an event. After we put it out to the curb, I had a really sweet idea based on how I usually pass on all of my CRTs to the next retro gamer after I beat Battletoads on them. So I made a sign. I thought it was pretty cool at the time, but looking back on it now, maybe it was kinda stupid. Anyway, the second part of my dream involved, you guessed it, CRTs. What dream of mine would be complete without abandoned and neglected CRTs and cord cutters? Fucking cord cutters.
Rest in peace, friends. So, then the third part that I remember, all of a sudden, I was coming back home to the house. I had apparently been down at the local video store renting a copy of Battletoads. I guess I didn't have any other carts in the dream? I don't know. But the case was all worn and peeling and awesome looking. And I was wearing this weird hat and these really weird sunglasses. So I went over to my dining room table, but I dropped my keys. So I got down to pick them up, and under the table were these two amazing legendary PVMs that I had only read about online or seen in the movies. I'd never even seen any in real life, but they were there, and they were awesome looking. They were those ones with those crazy bars going along the top and the sides, and they wanted me to play Battletoads on them. Totally. Radical. And I must have made it big by then, because I had a canvas with my own image on it from episode 30, where I beat Battletoads on the Sony Watchmen. So cool. Maybe I should do that this summer. But anyway, those two CRTs beckoned to me. They wanted me to play. The smaller one first. All my gear just appeared before it. Seeing the rental cart brought back childhood memories, and my rental cart worked on the first try. I didn't even have to clean it. Other appropriate items appeared as well. I couldn't figure out how to adjust any settings or get the volume to work, but that happens with every CRT I dream about. But wow, it was definitely an honor to be in the presence of such legendary professional monitor CRTs that are well known amongst the retro gaming enthusiasts. My gameplay was smooth. Smoother and much better than I play in real life. And of course, we saw the Battletoads end screen. The second PVM was even larger, a 29 inch giant. My god, it must have weighed over 200 pounds. It was also calling to me, just like the other. I couldn't figure out how to adjust any settings on that one either, but wow. It was probably the most perfect looking image I'd seen of Battletoads yet. And my gameplay was even better than before. I was hitting crazy cool tricks, I was getting cool glitches multiple times, and I was doing super weird glitches that almost froze the game. And, of course, I hit my favorite trick in the game perfectly. The geometry looked perfect, and I think that's the first time I've been honestly been able to say that. It was way too much for me to take in. 
everything was clear, and everything was just... perfection. Everything about it had me in awe. And then, as soon as I spiked the controller, I woke up. Yeah, so, really cool dream. I'll probably never see those PVMs or those CRT crazy things in my life. They're really rare, really expensive, so that's a bummer. Maybe I'll find one in the wild one day, by chance or something. Oh well, there's one more thing. I wanted to show you these crazy pictures I have of the CRT I found the other day in the antique store. It was really... Wait a second. Oh well. Well, at least I still have you. So if I have Battletoads end screen photos from a dream, do they count? You let me know. When I turned 21, I didn't care. I didn't celebrate it. I think I was playing EverQuest. When I turned 30, I didn't care about that either. And I didn't celebrate it. But now that I turned 40, I don't like it. You know when I beat the Dark Queen? And I spiked the controller? Oh, I comes Adam right when I'm trying to film. Huh. 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 Shit. Just managing. How long are you gonna be? <laughs> the, the only time I have to film a line. So let me ask you. If I have food oops. Where's the fucking camera? Oh, you dick. Thank you, thank you so much for that ride, I man. I really appreciate it. Wow, fuck. It's only at... So let me at... So let me ask you this. This looks... I just recorded the best flip ever, and I forgot to press record.
Fuck. I'm ready. This guy messing up my freaking shots. I like the idea of this episode. It was pretty fun. And I have a night and shit. I'll probably never see those PBMs in my life. They're super rare, super expensive. Oh, my fucking eye patch isn't on. 